Hello students, this is the second part of the lecture of fish migration. I hope you enjoyed the first part and now we would start with the second part. I am Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SPC, Government College, Ajmer. So we were discussing about diadromous fishes. These fishes are truly migratory fishes which migrate between the sea and fresh water and are of three types. You can see the colorful diagrams given in my slide. And now we come to anadromous fishes. Diadromous fishes which spend a major part of their lives in the sea but migrate to fresh water during breeding period for spawning. Thus, many marine fishes like the salmon, shad, lamprey and hilsa travel long distances in the sea and run up the river to spawn in the fresh water. Salmon and hilsa have been found to travel several thousand kilometers in the sea, then several hundred kilometers inland to reach the spawning ground. After egg laying, the fishes return to feeding places in the sea. Now, in this diagram, you can see the anadromous life cycle. First one is of fresh water, second is estuary, and third one is of marine water. You can see the difference and different types of fishes. Now, the catadromous. This group include diadromous fishes which spend a major of their lives in fresh water but migrate to the sea for breeding purpose. Thus the fresh water eel anguilla travels several thousand kilometer starting from the rivers and reaching the spawning grounds in the sea. After egg laying the river die and the young larvae drift and swim back towards the fresh water, taking three years in reaching the rivers. Here, they become adult and on reaching maturity, start their seaward migration again. Here in this slide, there you can see the catadromous life cycle. Here, first one is of fresh water, second is estuary. And third is marine water. You can see the anguilla in eel fishes over here. Now, amphidromous. These are diadromous fishes in which migration from fresh water to the sea or vice versa is not for the purpose of breeding. But it occurs regularly at some other definite stage of the life cycle. Mayer suggests that the migration of some gobies might fall into this category. Here again the diagram comes of amphidromous life cycle. First one is of fresh water, second is of estuary water and third is of marine water. You can see the different types of fishes in these waters in the diagram also. Now the pentadromous fishes. These fishes are truly migratory fishes whose migration remain confined to fresh water. For example, the carps and the trout travels long distance in large rivers in search of spawning grounds. After egg laying at suitable places, they return to the feeding area. The potamodromous life cycle, you can see it in the diagram shown here in this slide. First one is downstream diagram and another one is upstream diagram. Here, these are the fishes. They appear like labio rohita, etc, etc. Now, oceanodromous fishes. These are truly migratory fishes which live and migrate in the sea. 
Many marine fishes like the cod, the herrings, clupia, mackerels, scomber, and the tunas, that is thanas, travel long distance in the sea to deposit their eggs and later return to the feeding grounds. This is the life cycle of Oceanodromus fishes. First one is home reef and spawning grounds. These are different types of fishes with their dorsal fins quite pointed and they are quite large fishes. Factors influencing and controlling migration. Migration are influenced by several factors which may be physical, chemical and biological. Physical factors are like bottom materials, depth of water, temperature, light intensity, photo period, current turbidity. Chemical factor are like salinity, pH of water, smell and taste of water. And biological factors are like uh, migration, are the sexual maturity, blood pressure, food, memory, physiological clock of the animal, the endocrine glands of the fishes, and the presence or absence of the predators and competitors may also be considered as the biological factors governing migration of fishes. Now, in this slide, we'll study about the mechanism of orientation. The mechanism of orientation during fish migration has been reviewed by Hessler, the great scientist in 1971 and Abel in 1980. Orientation means arranging of an animal in a given direction. Homing, a fish may recognize its home site by a direct sensory stimulus, vision or olfaction. This is called homing or piloting. Navigation refers to the mechanism by which an animal can find direction towards a desired area. Homing ability of a fish required a knowledge of some kind of map whose information might be stored in the central nervous system. Fish can use the sun for orientation during migration. The fishes are observed changing angle of the sun relative to the horizontal and vertical planes. During night, fish might use the position of moon for orientation. Some species might make use of the magnetic and electrical field for orientation and have the ability to produce and receive electric signals and exhibit the power of electrolocation. The most important thing is the cause of migration. Several authors have given various reasons as to why fish migrate according to Northcote in 1978. This is to optimize feeding, to avoid unfavorable condition, to enhance reproductive success and possibility to promote colonization. The strategy of fish is to exploit rich food source, to enhance food intake which is necessary for increased growth rate, fecundity and survival. Lastly, we'll touch the advantages of migration. Migration is an adaptation towards abundance. It would be an advantage to have separate spawning, nursery and feeding grounds. A species whose adults return to spawn in an area where the environmental conditions were similar to those under which they themselves survived when young. Thus, a better egg and larvae survival would lead to a greater number of spawners on a particular ground. So, my dear students and viewers, I end here thanking you all for patiently hearing me. I am Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SPC, Government College, Ajmer.
my email address is given below my name and so we stop here